Welcome to the Farm Truck and Asian YouTube channel. Where it is what it isn't. fuel in it. <laughs> Ed, Ed. Well, we lost Ed. Your new lead mechanic farm. Hey, no pay raise. No pay raise. Longer um, hours. I'm more of a fabricator and looking around this thing, you know, um, we were on it and, and we were going to get it running and then we started doing other things, you know, like the Farm Truck and Asian show. There's a lot of little things that need to be addressed on this, uh, you know, like these holes in the firewall. I want to make sure, I mean, Filming's coming up quick. We may not have time to to fill all those holes and stuff and get it all sealed. I want to make sure that you're wearing when we go to make a, a fast dress. Pass. I'm not wearing a dress. <laughs> wearing. If you could wear a fireproof dress, <laughs> <laughs> they make those. Um, they should make those. Yeah, they make yeah. it. They make pants, them. shoes, everything until we got time to get that firewall sealed up right. real good. Right. Uh, well, this came straight from Misfire. And their goal was to do the Subaru swap and get it ready for SEMA. Right. And they, they did it. They accomplished that. That's right. In no time. Minimal time to spare. The problem is that they started tuning on it and the clutch that I gave them uh, wasn't enough. Um, so it blew through the clutch and now it's got its own clutch issues that we may have to address. Cooling issues, we don't, we've never tested it to see if it's going to overheat. Um, I don't know how much fuel it drinks. There's a lot of unknowns, but until then, we just need to know that the brakes work, that it stays cool, and then we will leave the rest for a Betty and Ben West, the tuner. I don't know if you want to ride shotgun. You can drive it too. <laughs> if you can fit in that seat. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Yeah, no, you already won. Uh, I, hey, I'd love to drive it, but you need the seat time. So we need to take it out, do a shakedown run. Make sure there's no leaks. Make sure that the brakes work. Make sure the radio works. Radio you know? does work. You're in charge Is of the radio. Is the 8-track still in You're it? You're in charge of the radio. I'll, yeah, make sure that's good. We don't want that flying up on Well, we always need to double check that because when Steve from Welder Up cut all that out, it kind of tweaked it a little yeah. bit, you know? And we might come up with some extra hood strap or something. I need a cell phone holder. I'm gonna put it in my glove box. I still have one of those. I'll be your cell phone holder. No, you're not touching my cell. I don't want you looking through my text messages and getting jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I know what's in there. <laughs> yeah, right. And I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, right. That's all trouble. <laughs> Whoa, this seat, man. You like that? I seat? think it's about 108. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's the right color. Yeah. Ed, check on his seat belts. Those shake. The shakedown run can be the most dangerous run you make. Wait, I need my sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. I, I think it's just crushed them. <laughs> you ain't getting those. Give me those loops. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> um. That loud. A radiator fan. Uh, starter. <laughs> Shifter. It's a vertical gate shifter. A vertigate. A vertigate. I've heard of those. Yeah. This I, is my first time to actually see one. They, I think they made them old school. Like they had them back in the day. Yeah. But this is a this is a cool design. So all right, uh, Lou, you gonna follow us? Yeah, I'll ride with Ed. Uh, 
Uh, let's go down this way and make okay. a U-turn. We can do that. That way we can wait in the middle like we used to okay. for uh, Ed and Lou. Oh yeah. So you've been working on this thing. Uh, what have you been doing to it? Just kind of like you were working on the brakes? Working on the Checking brakes, little stuff? Checking, checking and cleaning the coolant system. Just going over and finding stuff that might not be right or just needs a little attention. Thanks for driving, Ed. Be 198. See if she'll crack 200. Right. 18 degrees over. That's not too, too it's bad. It's not too bad. That was a good little run to warm my buns. <laughs> this damn seat with no pad, dude. 199. Woo! Uh, she got a little hot. She got into 199. That's not overheating, but it's hot. It's hot enough to bring it back and be safe. Um, it needs an alignment. It needs things. It needs the. It probably needs a new master cylinder. They're feeling pretty spongy. 
Asian, come over here. What do you say? What is this? This oh, that's, a, is this Asian it's math? Shrimp fried rice. Oh, shrimp yeah, fried. yeah. <laughs> shrimp fried, yeah. There, was a guy, there was an Asian guy at SEMA that signed it. It actually says dung beetle. Oh, it does. It does. Yes. Okay. I don't know what. Oh, you know what you, denomination he is. Well, you translated just fine for <laughs> anyone else. <laughs> I've got all the BS here. Remember the, the first stuff. Yeah. Kind of hard to see. Oh, that's right. And I cross oh, all that's that. The out. history of the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like what it had in it. That's yeah. right. You can see. Look that. at the turbo still spinning, dude. Is it? <laughs> you sure there ain't a bleed, breeze blowing through there? Or no, we turned off the portal. Cool. Dude, she she hit pretty hard there off that light. Yeah, it did. That sounded really fucking cool. And dude. it held it. Yeah, it didn't it did. spin at all. Oh. In true dung beetle style, you know, dude. I'm gonna hang some wheel, dude. Dude, we get this thing going. We're going to have to hang some wheelie bars on it. Thank God, uh, yeah? Because it's making more power I don't know than the Volkswagen motor. I just motor. don't know how you'd put them on. Oh, That's, we'll figure that out. Ed yeah. and I will do that. There's a motor in the way. <laughs> yeah, it wanted to hang hoops right up, right there, first gear. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it felt like it, yeah. If I stayed in it. What'd you do on your shift? you go like one, two, three, or how far up did you go? I went all the way to four. Four? He short shifted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't wind it tight. Yeah, I, I was being easy. Now, Farm, I want to ask you something. I came out this yesterday morning. And that thing's gone. Is there something missing? A little bit. Yeah. A little I, tiny I piece. Seek. Yeah. I sold it. I sold <laughs> oh, you that. finally oh, sold hell it. Yeah. He said I couldn't sell the truck, so I'm selling it piece by piece, dude. <laughs> you sold the most valuable piece. Yeah. It's like a reverse Johnny Cash song. One piece at a time, <laughs> right? Didn't cost me a dime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we're trying to get ready for this small tire show, um, and we hadn't gone through the motor in three years or more, um, so. Ed pulled it. I brought it to Kansas. Uh, Mark's going to go through it, and um, then hopefully we can get this thing to hook up on a small tire. It's never really been on that small of a tire ever. No, it was way back in the day. When really? We, when we had the 502. 2810.5. Oh yeah. Okay. That's, wow. Yeah. Um, I got a 2810.5 and it was used. Okay. Right. Okay. And uh, I don't remember who I got it from, but man, that changed everything. Oh, the slick. Yes. Oh, when we under, when we figured out what slicks were for, yes. we were like, <laughs> wait a second. That changed. <laughs> and then that became my street tire. Right. right? Well, we would never leave home and, without and, the slicks. And then I thought, you know, what's the big deal? How come slicks can't be my get around town tire? Oh. And then, you know, one of those Oklahoma rainstorms came through. Yeah like someone throws a bucket of water out the window yep. and I hit that on the highway going about 60 miles an hour mm -hmm. and then I was immediately sideways passing the guy next to me and uh, I don't know how I was he's he was slowing down yeah and I was passing him sideways yeah and I'm like okay that's why you need grooves in your tires gotcha they help a lot yeah, uh, yeah. I did the same thing off of May Avenue yeah I saw a hot rod at the gas station and it's just started sprinkling and I gave that throttle a little blip, and it went, whoop! <laughs> that guy, that was embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> but This could be an impossible task. Oh. Because it was on a 10-5 tire when we made 500 horsepower. Right. Right? And it held it. Yeah. Now, we make double that. Right. It'll hold, it just have to be a super turd and may not win any races. Um, we're going to have to pull a lot of timing uh, to get it off the line. Um, and then after that, hopefully, uh, we can get it to stick. Hopefully, we can use the weight to our advantage, you know, and crush that tire to the okay. ground. Yeah. Uh, that's my hope. Yeah. Uh, may never happen, but we're going to give it the old college try. We're going to put the whole dung beetle in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So besides putting the dung beetle in there, what else do we have to do to it? Everything. Like dyno it, have... Uh, BW tune it again, right? I don't know what else. BW is in there. needs to tune it. It's already tuned, but there's just some little things like um, the launch control needs to be activated. Um, they just didn't have time to do that because they they were tuning it on the dyno here locally, and it, it, I got them this clutch just to get it to SEMA. You know, I'm, my my it's four years ago, so right. hard, it's hard to remember. But I think I just got them this clutch so we could make it to SEMA, and uh, it's not enough. It won't hold it, so it just burns through that clutch. Needs brakes been uh, since 1966 since it's had a master cylinder the cooling is something that we still don't understand what yet how to bleed it that might be it i don't know seat time a lot of seat time a lot of seat time dude it's a completely different car yeah it's making twice the power different shifter also 
it's a short wheelbase car. Yeah. And that'll get you in trouble real quick. When a car like that gets sideways, um, it, it can be backwards before you know it. You know, there's a reason why dragsters yeah. are long. You're right. Right? And the rear wheels are constantly wanting to go around the front wheels. Yep. So That's it's right. the driver's job to keep the front wheels in line with That's the back right. wheels. That's right, 100%. That's the, that's the simplest way to put it. Dude, I gotta right. say, it's cool to have both of these back in the shop. Oh, it is kind of neat. Yeah, you know, it's and been a side while. By each. Yeah, you know? it's really cool. So, you know, we got more work to do. We're gonna save some stuff for the Small Tire Show. We need to give them their content too. Um, we like to show you guys uh, kind of the sneak peeks behind the scenes of what they, we think that they're not gonna show. Um, so stay tuned, there's more to come. Misfire Motorsports, BW, still gotta get their hands dirty on this thing. But keep watching, and there'll be more farm and dung action. F and A. Sun's out, dung's out. Hey, Farm Truck and Asian here. Thank you for sticking around and watching our YouTube videos. Since you're a viewer and hopefully a subscriber, drop by our website, okcfarmtruck.com, and use discount code FNAYouTube to get 10% off your next order. It's our way of saying thank you.